On a recent trip to New York, Marco Lucio was able to immerse himself in the world of Manhattan dreaming, where painting on the streets and high up in skyscrapers became his everyday. If you followed his adventure online, you would have seen how his interpretation of colour and movement came to light on the canvas, and how he drew crowds everywhere he set up. Tonight is the unveiling of his latest prints and paintings in Manhattan Dreaming. These are just amazing, the, the colours. We have a, a number of his prints, uh, his uh, French ones and ones from Italy and his, some of his um, uh, the other New York ones, but these coloured paintings, they just, they're so vibrant, they just will leap out at you, except this one behind me gives me vertigo, <laughs> looking down. <laughs> There's but something about perspective that Marco that just teacher. nails. Yes. I like the um, buildings. What is it that you like about them? Um, that they have music and things on them. And do you like the colours? Yeah. Yes. Well, have you been to New York before? No. Is it one of your dream cities to go to? Yeah. It's, it, I, I'm astounded. I think he's captured the the kind of craziness but the beauty of New York yeah. perfectly and and yeah like we were saying you know of course these paintings are of buildings but what what we're drawn to is the skies they're also different they're from, also from painting different. to painting yeah. and they're playful but beautiful and um, yeah really dynamic and we're very lucky to be here. Oh, <laughs> go Marco! So tonight it's an exhibition of Manhattan Dreaming. What do these prints and canvases conjure up for you as far as feelings of New York? Well, it's as we were saying before, if you've been to Manhattan in particular, New York in general, you know that it's a city full of energy and dynamic changing moods through each neighbourhood. And I believe these, this work just captures it, it captures the spirit of it more than just a piece of paint a piece of artwork to me they're more a piece of New York come over to Melbourne it's an artifact rather than artwork as a man how incredible and oh. what he did going on the streets of New York is just fabulous but seeing that now the artwork in the flesh here tonight yeah, yeah we've gone around and chosen which ones we like we separated and chose and but we both as a matter of fact, we're standing right in front of it. This one here is both our yeah. fa The yeah. sky in that one is extraordinary. Um, and John loves uh, Times Square up there because uh, I, I can't go by uh, the Chrysler building. And that sky there is mad. It's mad. You know, like, it, it's just fantastic. So he's brilliant. Yeah. He's brilliant. And, uh, and, you know, like, and the further you're away from them, the better they get. Yeah. Which print or painting has attracted you the most and why? Well, can I say a collection of the dry point etchings, which are quite amazing in terms of the technical accomplishment, but also the content and um, particularly getting into the life of the city, I into the people, the characters, into the delis. Yeah, and quite dining. emblematic yeah, of um, New York, I think. Don't care if it's Chinatown or on Riverside. I don't have any reasons. I've left them all behind. I've been a New York state of mind. Ooh.